so today we discuss on fusion of different stages of the cell cycle there are some fusion experiment by which we can determine that there are some regulatory element or protein that control cell cycle activities this is very important in csr net so rao and johnson conducted experiments to know whether cells contains regulatory factor that control cell cycle activities so rao and johnson wanted to know whether the cell cytoplasm content any regulatory protein or regulatory factor that control cell cycle activities or not so they fused mammalian cell that were in different phases of the cell cycle so in this experiment they take mammal they took mammalian cell and performed this experiment by fusions of different stages of cells so they fused mitotic cell with cells in other phases of cell cycle so they fuse mitotic cells means the cells which are present in m phase and non mitotic mitotic cells the cells that are present in other phases like g1 as and g2 phase so they used so the they fused mitotic cells with cells in the other phases of the cell cycle okay they used mammalian cell in this fusion experiment okay mitotic cell induced compaction of chromatin in nucleus of non mitotic cell so when they performed the experiment they took m phase cell cycle m phase the cells uh, they took the two cells that are present in mitotic phase or m phase and fused with other phases of the cell cycle and they saw that that the non mit the mitotic cell induced some effect on the non mitotic cell so what are the effect now i now we understand so in case of g1 m phase cell fusion so we uh, the fused g1 phase cell with m phase cell what happened first point says that premature compaction of chromatin occurred in g1 cell and next point is set of elongated compacted chromosomes compaction of chromatin is a characteristic of m phase cell so when we fused m m phase cells with g1 phase cell the g we can see that g1 phase cell is transformed into m phase cell so the earlier m phase cells induced some effect by which the transformations of g1 into m phase cell occur now so premature compaction why it is called premature because this is not the exactly time of compaction there are several intermediate s phase replications of chromosomes and g2 phase are present but when we fused m phase with g1 phase we can see that that both phases are present in now m phase now next phenomena in the next fusion experiment we can see premature comp uh, in the next experiment we uh, they uh, the took two g2 phase cell and m phase cell so when m phase cell is fused with g2 phase cells the g2 phase also transformed into m phase cell 
So the first point says that premature compactions of chromatin occurred in the nucleus of G2, same as G1 phase cell. Compacted G2 chromosomes were visibly doubled. Why? Because in S phase, the number of the chromosome were already doubled. So we get a double amount of chromosome when we fused G2 with M phase. Now in the third case, G2 uh, third case, we uh, they fused M S phase with M phase of cell cycle. M phase, this is the cell which is present in M phase. This green cell present in S phase. Now fuse. So S phase is also transformed into M phase. But there is a little difference between. There, there is a little between a little difference present that a new word that is pulverized chromosome. What is pulverized means you can say not intact, fragmented or segmented chromosome. Pulverized chromosomes were found rather than intact compacted chromosome. In the earlier, when we fused M phase with G1 phase or M phase with G2 phase, we get an intact compacted chromosome whether it is g1 or g2 but in case of s phase we get pulverized chromosome because replicating chromosome replicating chromosomes are are very sensitive to compaction process and when these earlier premature compaction occur in the replicating dna it leads to fragmentations and that is why it it is uh, it forms pulverized chromosome so what are the what are the result of this of this experiment what so a result of this experiment suggested that cytoplasm contents of mitotic cells sorry the cytoplasm this is wrong so cytoplasm of mitotic cells contain diffusible factors that could induce mitosis in non-mitotic cells. So we can conclude that there is some factor that are present in M phase. That factor induce some effect on G1, G2 or S phase cell by which transformations of G1, G2 and S phase into M phase occurred. This is the result of this experiment. Now, we fuse different cells. So, like we G1 phase. So, what happened when we fused G1 phase cell with S phase cell? We get two S phase cell. Fusion of leads to transformations of G1 to S phase. So there are some diffusibles or regulatory element present in S phase cell that helps in the transformations of G1 into S phase. Same here, but there is a little difference. You have to remember one thing. When we fused any cell phases with G2 phase, G2 phase cell unable to induce any effect on other phases of cell cycle when you we fuse with g1 phase cell with g2 phase cell we get g1 and g2 both g2 phase cell have no effect on g1 g1 phase has no effect on g2 because g1 is earlier than g2 so there there's the effect that G2 have to make some effect on G1 but there is no effect G2 unable to induce any effect in G1 not only G1 G2 
in this case you can see that is g2 phase cell that is s phase cell when we fused g2 and s phase cell we get g2 and s both so in this case it is also determined that g2 phase cells have no has no effect on other phases of the cell cycle so that is why we get two cells so you have to remember one thing that when we fused when we fuse g2 phase cell with other phases of cell cycle like g1 and s we get both cell cycle phases because g2 has no effect on other phases of cell cycle it has no such regulatory or induced factor that helps in transformations of other phases of the cell cycle there is some cyclin ctk you can see so in this case there is no such type of factors or complex that helps in this transformations process if you like the video please share it with your friends thank you